Hi, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I uh, bought this uh, disk drive and uh, the seller told me that it didn't work. So um, I brought it home and I turned it on and I had no disks. But now I have a disk, I know that, that it actually does read disks. And I have cleaned the heads, so that may be the problem. And, uh, and um, but the motor never stops, and that bothers me. But it should stop. So, uh, and here you can see um, I have opened it, and uh, the, there's nothing obvious wrong here. I measured the power supply, and that's fine. And here you can see the rectifiers there, and. Uh, there you have the serial ports, serial bus ports, and uh, yeah, there's a 6522, that's a VIAS, that's the same that um, peripheral device that the CPUs uses, it's the same that the VIC computer is using. And the Commodore uses the 6526, I think. Anyway, but it does the same thing. It uh, does uh, take uh, command, uh, has the registers for the CPU, and um, uh, have the I/O line so that it can do stuff like turn on, off, on and off the motor. So I check that that works. I've been looking at my drive for a while now. I wonder what's wrong with it. And uh, on the schematics here, I have replaced the ship. Here. And here is the motor connector. Oops. And um, you can see there's a ship here. Actually, this one is not uh, present on the board. You can see CR10 there. Uh, it's not there. Uh, actually, it's shorted out. So the reason for that is because 7404 is not an open collector output, but uh, 7406 is. And 7406 was what came with this board. And uh, this one is also new. So I don't think uh, that's the problem here. Okay, so the problem here is that. Uh, when I switch it on, the motor just runs and runs and runs forever. So I have uh, measured out on the power connector for the motor, and uh, that one also stays on forever. Uh, that means that uh, this line is low. And I measure on this side, and this side looks okay. So this one goes. Uh, from high to low, that means uh, the motor should go off. So if this one goes low, this line here should be pulled to 5 volt. Uh, but that doesn't happen, it, it gets pulled to uh, 0.66 volts something. And uh, that sounds like a di diode that is uh, active somewhere. You know, when you hear numbers like that, you uh, you should think about diodes or maybe um, something with a diode junction anyway. But you can see this strange line here that is uh, connected to it. And this is a uh, hybrid ESA and uh, the reason for they have that, as you can see on the board here, mm, let's think. Uh, this board has a short motherboard as you can see or PC assembly as you call it and uh, all the analog electronics electronics is here that's uh, the electronics that the reads from the head you have to have an amplifier and uh, there are four or five stages I think and all of that happens in here but that's not all if you can see here uh, the line we were talking about here up here uh, from number 3 here and down here 
So there's something called out, and you see there are plus and minus up here, and here you have the diode that I was uh, suspecting, because we had this um, strange uh, phenomena of 0.6 volt on this uh, line here. So uh, I have pulled that up, and uh, guess what? And it stops like it should. So um, what I'm thinking now is that uh, the, there's something wrong going on here or somewhere else though. But I think what this is um, this is some analog adjustment thing going to power the motor faster or slower. Because this is a part of a, uh, a face locked loop, I think. I'm not completely sure. So, um, well, what is the diode doing then? I'm uh, not completely sure, but if you look here. I was suspecting maybe there's something wrong with this uh, capacitor. Maybe it's shorted out. I will try and replace that. But I doubt doubt it is this one but if this is shorted yeah sure that will have a ground here but uh, if there's in the hybrid AC I have to change the hybrid AC so if I change the capacitor here and it works then uh, I know it's this one but if it's not this one then um, oh well then we have to figure out what what's going on here because uh, lock the face of the rotating motor I think it's a part of a face locked loop so uh, and when you're talking about loops then it doesn't have to be this IC it could be somewhere else that is pulling this uh, telling this IC to go low all the time so I have to look further into that but anyway that was a great find so uh, yeah Okay, I have botched in a capacitor here, the C22 that we looked at on the schematics. You can see here. And does it work now? I was suspecting this one to be shorted out, the other one I replaced. So let's turn it on and listen. And it stops. I'm really happy that this, uh, as you can see here, this uh, hybrid IC isn't the culprit because uh, uh, it would be a pain to get back but that was an easy fix so uh, yeah it pays back to look at the schematics and uh, think what where does the current go and replace the easy parts first I hope you liked it and now I'm going to put it back together and let's try and load the game
Pack my drive and I tried it again, and uh, whoops, it runs and runs and runs. But when I put a disk in there, it stopped running, and I have it hasn't done that before. And now, when I try it now, I have no idea what happened. It stops, like it should. So, but then I found that when I put this disk in here. It starts again. And then it stops. So I believe it's maybe that uh, what is called a bright protection uh, thingy. This doesn't happen to that drive below there. Okay. Playing one handed. Never played this game before. Okay. I'm such a noob. 